Bonjour, good afternoon. Um uh Wabshke Sini Kwe Indigenous Kar Segana and Donjaba Bawating Da Danjaba Mishiki and Dodem Ojibwe and Ishnabi Queen Dao. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Colleen Medicine and I work for the Sioux Tribe Language and Cultural Department. And today we have our language team to present our 15th virtual Anishinaabemo one lesson. And today's lesson is um, on things you will talk about at home. Without further ado, um, I will turn it over to our wonderful language team. They'll have their introductions and then we'll get right into the content. So, um, Geetum. Naho, Ani Kinawea, Bidabanakwe, Mage Susan, Ndishnakaz, Bauting and Donjaba, Mayingan and Odem, Minwa, Bauting and Ishna Beck, the Ben Douglas, Mewe, and Susan Asquith. I um, live in, I was, I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, and I also continue to live here. After all this time, and I, my Ingan and Dodan, that means that um, Wolf is my clan. Now, Gintampo. Ani Bojo, Paul Blondo, Dejnikas, my Ingan, the Nishnabe no swim, Bateng Donjaba, Skandian de Da, Magizen Dodam. I am Paul Blondo. Uh, my native name is Maingan. I am Sioux Tribe. I live in Scandia, Michigan, and I am Eagle Clan. Aho, miigwech, King Tom Shirley. Ani kinagoya. Shirley Raklin de Shnakas. We come kung don jaba. Mampi bakting the da. Wawashkesh and Odem, Kibi Kwe, Donishnabe no Zwin. Ani, hello, my name is Shirley Rackley. I'm from Mukumakang, Manitoulin Island. I live here in Sioux, Ontario. Deer is my clan, and Spring Water is my Indian name. Naha, Kitam Siso. Ani, Mingwa, Bojo, Gigilangwa, Nin. Ojibwe minwa jagana shi and dao a jijokando dem. Siso indigena kaz. My name is Siso. I am a Crane clan from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Nahao dash ajtada. Nahao miigwech Siso. Today we're going to look at, whoops. Welcome to Sioux Tribe Language and Culture Department. As Colleen said, we're at number 15, yay. You can find us on Facebook if you wanna know where the other ones were. Look under the uh, videos section, there you'll find it. Oh, um, we just, um, all, of the, all of us, five of us, did um, our introductions and we've been studying this in our other lessons, so, might be a good idea to say, how how well can I read this language? You know, do I recognize any of this? Ani Kinawea, hello everyone. Cecil and Shirley say Kinaguea. That G in front gives an exclamation point kind of. So Ani uh, Kinawea, hello everyone. Susan Indigenous, and you had learned to say your own name in that. Susan is what I'm called. Bauting in Donjaba, so that means I I was from Sault Ste. Marie originally. It's my place where I was born, sort of, or grew up. Minwa, that's and. Bauting in Dida, Bauting is where I live now. And it says it says right now. Mayingan and Dodem, all of that. Mayingan and Dodem. Mayingan is wolf. Dodem. Maybe you don't know Mayingan because you really only know your own clan's name, but um, that is uh, what that says. So you probably recognize a lot of this. Bauting, again, it means Sault Ste. Marie or the place of the rapids. And um, 
the um, an Anishinaabe is uh, a native person. Anishinaabek is the people is plural. So Bauting Anishinaabe means the the Anishinaabe people, Anishinaabe who live at the Sioux. And then the Bendakwas means I, I belong to them. Um, so uh, Bauting Anishinaabe the Bendakwas. I bet you don't know that word yet. The Bendakwas. That's okay. You'll catch it. Nahal, much tada. Okay, let's get started. See how much you learned? That's so cool. All right, this is also something that we learned before. Endayin, at your house. And it is um, that yin at the end of it means yours. And then I, you could, I might also want to talk about endayin at my house. That ya at the end of it means me or mine. Notice that D A A in there, in da yin, in da ya. Da still means what it always did where someone lives when it's the actual uh, verb in the sentence. Uh -huh. Let's look at some parts of our house. Okay, so we have learned a lot of verbs, a lot of action words. That's pretty good, but you can't, you somehow have to have a development of vocabulary. So that's what we're doing today. We're looking at the kinds of things that you would see around your house. And then how would you make that into a sentence? And the first one we have is dopwin. It's a table. One of our earlier teachers, Nancy Debasage, she said, you should think of it this way. When you're making bread, you have a bunch of dough and you're sitting it on the table and you're rolling that dough for cookie dough or you're making bread dough. And so dopwin is a table where you make, where you put the dough to work on it. If, the, if that's a silly um, reference and it doesn't mean anything to you, you should make one up for yourself so that it makes it easier to remember. Dopwin, it just says a table or the table. But if I want to make a whole sentence out of it, I could say dopwin manda. The, the manda means this is. Dopwen manda, table this is. In English we would say this is a table. Dopwen manda. So you could walk around your house, point to how many tables you have. Dopwen manda. And then the last thing we wanted to add, and all of us today will be doing this kind of thing, we're going to say this is my table. Cecil will say your table. This is my table. And that way you have a full sentence and you can say so many things. This is my table. This is my whatever, in this case, table. Dopwin manda, that N says mine. Dopwin is the table, manda is this is. Dopwin manda, nahal. And wherever there's a table, there's very likely to be a chair. Pubwin, the, U, the A sounds like you, remember? Oh, it has that sound, pubwin, pubwin. Pubwin manda. Mm, manda. This is my chair. Mm, manda. You can think of the three bears. This is my chair. And she broke it all to pieces by sitting in it. Okay, so manda. This is a chair. That's a whole sentence. Mm, manda. This is my chair. Now, Paul, Gintam. Paul, uh-huh. chigun? A window. Wasetch chigun. Window. Wasetch chigun manda. This is a window. Wasetch chigun manda. Wasetch chigun manda. This is my window. Mm. Wasses chigan manda. Asmatik. It's a wall. Asmatik. Asmatik manda. This is a wall. Asmatik manda. This is a wall. Hmm. Asmatik manda. This is my wall. That end on the beginning. Is shortened up mean me myself mean 
Osmetic Manda. This is my wall. Next slide. Uh -huh. Can we see the next one? This is it. Ah! <laughs> Chisak. Chisak. I didn't see a change there. Chisak is the floor. Chisak Manda. This is the floor. Chisak Manda. This is my floor. Chisak Manda, my floor. Uh -huh. Taswin. Taswin is a cabinet. Taswin. Taswin Manda. This is a cabinet or a cupboard. Uh, Taswin Manda. This is a cabinet. Taswin Manda, my cabinet. Taswin Manda, this is my cabinet. Uh -huh. Kingdom Shirley. Ani Kinagoya Shirley in the Shnakas. Uh -huh. Much tada. Uh huh. Ah, uh, well, was kunenjigan? Was kunenjigan? That's a lamp or a light. Was kunenjigan? It's a light. Was kunenjigan? Manda. Was kunenjigan? Manda. This is a lamp. No was kunenjigan? Manda. No was kunenjigan? Manda. This is my lamp. Enjig zibi naganeng. And jig zibig nagneng a zinc, a place where you do dishes. And jig zibig nagneng. And jig zibig nagneng manda. And jig zibig nagneng manda. This is this is a zinc. And jig zibig nagnea manda. And jig zibig nagnea manda. This is my zinc. Uh -huh. Kishop kiss a gun. Kishop kiss a gun. Stove, any kind of stove. Kishop kiss a gun. Kishop kiss a gun, manda. Kishop kiss a gun, manda. This is a stove. Nishop kiss a gun, manda. Nishop kiss a gun, manda. So this is my stove. Uh huh. Ah, uh, kumi taswin, kumi taswin refrigerator. So kum is is something like an ice. Kum. So kumi taswin is a refrigerator. Kumi taswin manda. Kumi taswin manda. This is a refrigerator. Then kumi taswin manda. Of Komita Swin Manda. This is my refrigerator. How keep them Cecil? Naho, Anin, Kinoya, Cecil, and Dejnakaz. Naho, Maj Tara. And I yin. And I yin. That yin ending makes it you or your, and I yin. So at your house, yin, you or your, that ending. Gin, your ownership. So gin, you or your, ownership, g, for short. It wouldn't sound right if we say the whole word gin, so we shorten it up sometimes just for that reason. <clears throat> and 
Gedopwen Manda. Gedopwen Manda. So you hear that G, again shortened from Gin. This is your table. Gedopwen Manda. Gepabwen Manda. Gepabwen Manda. This is your chair. Again, that shortened Gin, G, just the G. Gepabwen Manda. Gewasetchigen Manda. Gewasetchigen Manda. This is your window. Gasmatik Manda. Gasmatik Manda. This is your wall. Gemchisak Manda. Gemchisak Manda. This is your floor. Gitaswin Manda. Gitaswin Manda. This is your cupboard or cabinet. Gitaswin Manda. Again, that G front of each one designates you or yours. So, G, short for Gein. Gawaskanenjigan Manda. Gawaskanenjigan Manda. This is your lap. Lamp. This is your lamp. Iwaska Nanjigan Manda. Enja is Ibiganagane Yin Manda. That yin there on the end makes it you or yours. Enja is Ibiganagane Yin Manda. That's a mouthful. Jean is the gun Manda. You got. Gijapkizigan Manda. This is your stove. Gimakome Taswin Manda. This is your refrigerator. Gimakome Taswin Manda. So um, here are three learning tips. Basic one. You can uh, go ahead and print off these words and, and label these parts of your house, so the refrigerator, etc. And then try using the, the word in the sentence. Use manda or however, but we try to speak in sentences. If we get caught up with uh, saying singular words, then we, we say we just fill up our noun or verb bag, and we don't use it in that full sense, sentence context. So say the words out loud and often. Again, we've we've said it many times, repetition. Repetition. Read it. Say it. Write it. All those things. So as often as you can, um, these are tips that will help you to learn our language. Miigwech Bazendamuk. Thank you all for listening. Bama P, follow our Facebook page at Sioux Tribe Language and Culture. Miigwech Bazendamuk. Bama P. Bama P. Bama P. Bama P. Bama P. Bama P. Bama P.